That's that. I'm going to transport you to right to Thailand. We're going to do a classic dish, a Thai green curry. So this is one of my favorite dishes from Thailand. It's not that spicy, but we have got a little hint of the green chilies there. Really fragrant though. We've got the basil, the coriander, and then all these beautiful flavors like kaffir lime and um, palm sugar and coconut. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm going to show you how to do that a little bit later on in the show. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. It's a Renge Tike chicken treat for us this morning because we've got Thai green curry noodles, but we're using <laughs> this corn-fed Renge Tike chicken as well. Yum! Yeah, that's right. It's an, it's an awesome dish. It's, I mean, the thing about Thai food, it's just so fragrant. We've got a little bit of heat yeah. in there as well. Got the nice creaminess of the coconut milk, but all those fragrant um, spices and herbs and flavours in there, which, you know, makes it classic. Oh, no, and good for this time of the year, too, because it clears the senses out, doesn't it? Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. And then, so basically, it's all based around this Thai uh, curry paste. So, obviously, right. green, we're doing a green curry today, so green curry paste. Um, you can buy these in the supermarkets. They're really good, so it makes this dish really, really fast. But if you want to make it yourself, there's, you know, there's heaps of recipes out there, and if you've got a bit more time, you can do it yourself. Okay, nice. Let's go. Let's so, get underway. Yes. So, the key to this is... Obviously, we need to fry this paste. You know, right. we've got a lot of things like lemongrass in there, shrimps in there, you know, shallots, garlic, ginger, you know, all these flavours. And we want to get it in the pan, start getting that heat in there, fry it, and release all those flavours. Right, brings it out. Okay, yeah. cool. That makes so sense. So going to make it... Just get it, get it nice and warm. So it's like that. Spits a little bit now, but that's good. That's all right. You need no, an she, apron. Well, no, I actually made a... Um, what did I make the other night? Something with Toast? something? No. <laughs> I had a little bit of paste. And it, um, and, it, and it did the same thing. Went everywhere. But, oh, smell that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, right? If you, if you just keep stirring it, so you want that heat, you know, um, obviously to cook it. You want to cook it, you want to release the flavours, but you want to stir it all the time. You don't want to burn it in parts and get different flavour profiles. But you can smell it now, like you just said, mm. you know? It's, it's going to bring all those um, yeah. uh, aromas out and everything. It smells incredible. So it's going to give it a little bit more. And then we've got some um, coconut cream in there, and we're going to pop that in, and then it's going to start making the base of our soup. And then wow. we're going to start adding flavours in. But I've got some chicken here. So we're going to use the thigh today, so skin off, bone out. And then I'm just going to cut it into some nice pieces. Maybe not too big, some nice strips. OK, and you, and you don't have to add chicken to this, do you? No, no, I mean, we've got lots of vegetables in here. We, you know, we've got some eggplant in there. Lots of herbs, there's lots of ingredients, bean sprouts in there, onion in there, um, and some uh, tomatoes. So, I mean, that is probably pretty much, if you didn't want to put the chicken in, you could just use it as a vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, that's you know, right. There's a lot of ingredients in there already. The other half's gone vegetarian recently, so I'm having to make two separate dishes all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not, actually. <laughs> but but well, we have to cater for two lots of tastes, which is good. And something like this is perfect. Let's get the rest of that out. All right, so we've got the, uh, we've got the cream in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. And then just like bring that to the boil and give it a really good stir. And basically what you want to do is get all that paste into the cream. Thanks. Oh, too late now. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. <laughs> That's what I needed. Yeah. Right, so you've got this nice, <laughs> nice thick paste. And I'm just going to add the chicken to this now. And just give that a couple of minutes just to start cooking. I guess you don't pre-cook the chicken. No, 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 we're going to cook the chicken. I mean, it's not, it's in small pieces, so it's not going to take long. And we're just right. going to sort of just cook it in there. And it will use the flavours. Yeah, it's yeah. going to all the penetrate, uh, all the flavours are going to penetrate into the chicken and just slowly cook it. It's going to be really nice. And then we're going to start adding the rest of the ingredients in stages as we get to the, uh, the end of the dish. Okay, nice work. So you can make the actual curry paste yourself if you've got time, can't you? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, it's great fun, you know, you can, you can get it. I mean, the traditional way is in a, a mortar and pestle and just pounding it and pounding it and pounding it right. and pounding it and pounding it. Right. It takes a bit of time. But you can just put it in, like, a, a spice grinder or a food processor. Oh, OK. Great. There's oh, a yeah, top nice. tip for you there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> OK, cool. This is smelling incredible. Simmering away there nicely. You don't want it too high, do you? No, no, so just keep it on a nice simmer and then we're going to start adding the ingredients. So it's still... Probably about 10 minutes away from finishing at the moment. OK, cool. We need to finish off what we are doing here, which smells incredible, our Thai green chicken curry noodles. And we're using Ranga Tikke chicken. Uh, this is coming along nicely. Yep, so you can see the chicken sort of, you know, it's getting cooked there, about halfway there. I'm just going to put some coconut milk in there now. OK. We've got all those flavours concentrated in, mm. there, in the cream and the paste, you know, it's full of flavour. Loosen it down with some coconut milk. Uh, and then I've got some, uh, a little bit of um, uh, rock sugar, or palm sugar. Just give that a quick slice, put that in it, just to get a nice little bit of sweetness in there. Okay, good. 
And then we've got some uh, fish sauce as well. So that goes in. So a nice salty uh, flavour there. And a little bit of the uh, kaffir lime. So this gives you that nice fragrant sort of limey, zesty sort of flavour. And then so they come like that with like yep. two leaves. Um, so you just sort of give it a little tear, be a bit rough with it, it releases all the flavours and then chuck it in. That's just for flavouring, you don't want to eat that after. Right, so take it out before you serve it? Yeah, yeah, take it out before you serve it or just eat round it. Okay, cool. Um, and then a little bit of green chilli, so I'm just going to slice that, I'm going to pop that in. I've got a little bit of a shallot as well, which we'll put in. And then we've just got some boiling water as well. We're going to pop that over the noodles okay. as the curry cooks and then um, we'll just add it all together at the end. And what sort of noodles are we using here? Oh, they're just some glass noodles. Yep. Um, and so they're really, so they're all dehydrated. So just boil some water, pop them over. You know, give it five, ten minutes till you're ready. They'll still be nice and warm, and then they're good to go. And you can use whatever noodles you want. Oh yeah, any any noodles you want, you know, or rice, you yeah. know, however you want to do it. So it's got some slices of shallots. Pop that in as well. Jesus is smelling good. It's actually quite quick, isn't it? Cafe.co.nz, yeah. by the way, if you want to check out how to get this done at home. So really quick, and then we've got some eggplant as well. So if you can get the little Thai eggplants, use those. Okay. Because it's really cool. So just gonna cut it into uh, quarters and then some nice wedges like that. And then that just goes in and cook that in the curry so that'll soften and that'll, that'll act like a sponge and it'll just soak up oh. all those flavors. Okay, so about three centimeters. Yeah, just like, I mean, you can do chunks. it You can do it how you want. Just gonna cut these uh, cherry tomatoes just in half as well, and then they'll go in last minute just to warm up, the same time as the bean sprouts and then all the herbs as well. So we've got basil and coriander, which we're just gonna roughly chop to put in at the end. And what are the little Thai um, eggplants you're talking about? Yeah, so they're a little bit uh, smaller, a little bit sweeter. Um, you can get them, you know, Depends certain times of the years, like Asian uh, supermarkets, they have them, so that's a really good place to get them. Um, you know, if you can't get them, just use the normal eggplant, oh, that's fine. Cool. You know, or any, yeah, cool. any ingredients, what you want, really. Okay, nice. You know, whatever you like. So just some herbs, and we'll just put them together. You know, just roughly chop them, nice big pieces. So it's just quite a rustic dish, but it's all about flavour. And the spoiling water over the noodles. Yeah, that's it. And then sort of give it a minute or so, give it a nice stir, break them up, and then when they're nice and soft, they are ready to go. There's a little bit more kaffir lime in there. Mm, give it so a fragrant. Of, uh, little bit of pepper, and then we'll let it cook for a little bit. We'll taste it, because obviously the uh, fish sauce is salty. That's our seasoning. You know, if it needs a little bit more salt, put a little bit in, but always taste it first because of that fish sauce. Okay, and the good thing is with adding this eggplant in, you've, you've greatly you know, made the meal more substantial, haven't you? So you've got yeah. your rang and thicke chicken, you've got your eggplant, you've got all these herbs and spices. It just smells so good. Shallots. Yeah, that's it, and, and you're just cooking it down. So you just want to soften this eggplant now. The chicken will be cooked, it's in nice small pieces, you know, and we'll have all that flavour in that sauce as well. And we'll toss the uh, rest of the ingredients through, noodles through, job done. I just, I'm just plating it up now. There you go. Look at that. Full of flavour, nice bit of sweetness in there, but Ooh. just so fragrant. Oh, look at that.